This thing is so slow. You know, today I'm gonna give you five free tips to speed up a Windows computer. Stay tuned. Man, will this thing hurry up? Computers play a huge role in our daily lives. And honestly, when they're not running at their peak efficiency, it can be kind of a drag. And what's even worse is having to pay high repair costs to either upgrade or repair computers when problems arise. So today, I'm gonna show you five free and easy tips to speed up a Windows PC. And wait until the end, because I'm gonna have a bonus tip for you. If this kind of content interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. Now, let's get to the video. One issue that affects computers the most, in my opinion, is having irrelevant startup programs start up when Windows starts. These programs actually take up resources on your system while you're using it, as well as make it boot up slower. Let me show you how to remove them. So what you wanna do is go down to your taskbar right here, and you wanna right click and hit on Task Manager. When this opens up, you may have to hit the More Details link at the bottom left corner. And to do that, you get a more advanced Task Manager. Now from there, you wanna click over onto the Startup tab. And from the Startup tab, these are all the programs that start up with Windows. Now what you can do is you can actually go through and disable programs that you either don't use or that you don't need starting up with Windows. So if we go and we select a program, we can go down to the bottom corner here and we can just click Disable. And we can do this for all the different programs that we don't wanna start with Windows. And then once we select them all, all we gotta do is close our Task Manager and then we can reboot our computer and the changes should take effect. Now that one is really easy and it really helps to speed your computer up. A lot of these startup programs, in a lot of cases, you really don't need. Like for instance, I don't ever use Skype on this computer, yet Skype is starting up. So it's a program that's running that's just taking resources that I'm never gonna use. So if you go through and you disable these programs, you can actually help to improve the performance of your computer. Now the next thing that we're gonna look at is services. Now, now services, unlike startup programs, are a little bit different, but they also run in the background and many programs install services on your computer in order to perform different tasks. And to get to those, what you need to do is go down to your start menu, go ahead and click start, and then what I want you to type is msconfig. And then go ahead and hit enter. And right here, this is a system configuration window. It makes it really easy to be able to manipulate services. So when you click on services here, you can see a whole list of services. Now you might look at this list and say, I have no idea what to enable or disable. And let me show you how to make it easier. If you come down here and you click hide all Windows services, it'll hide all of the necessary services for Windows that you could actually damage your computer by disabling. Now, if you go down here and you scroll through you can see all the different services that are running and you can decide if they're services that you don't need. And if there's a service that you don't need, like for instance, let's say I want to disable the Google Chrome update service. So what I would do is come down here and all I have to do is uncheck this. And by unchecking it, it won't start that service when Windows boots. It'll actually disable it. So by disabling services through msconfig, you can actually turn the services off completely. However, there might be a problem, like in this instance where I disabled the Google Chrome update service, I might not be able to update Chrome, and that actually could be a bad thing. So let me show you an alternative way to disable services. It's a little bit more difficult, and you can get yourself into a little bit more trouble, but it gives you a little bit more power over what you can do with services. Now to do that, so come down to the start menu and go ahead and type services. And from there, go ahead and open the services app. And then from the services app, you can actually see all the different services running on the computer. Unfortunately, you can't hide the Microsoft services this way. So you can actually damage your computer if you uncheck the wrong service here. So what you're gonna wanna do is it's, we already know that we wanna disable the Google update service. So what we're gonna do is come down to here 
and we find the Google Update service, we're gonna go ahead and double click on it. And then right here where the startup type is, is automatic. So what the service is gonna do is this service is actually going to start automatically when Windows starts. What you can do is actually change this to manual. By changing this service to manual, what you're actually telling the computer is to not start the service up when Windows starts, but to still allow the service to start when it's needed. So if you're running Google Chrome and Google Chrome wants to check for an update, it can actually start, still start the service manually in order to perform an update function. It just won't do it automatically like it did when it was originally set that way. Now, since we're talking about services and startup programs, there's another way to disable services and startup programs that doesn't require you to dig into some of the backend components of Windows. And that is simply uninstalling the programs. If you have programs running on your computer that you don't use, then there's honestly really no reason why you have to have those programs installed in the first place. They're just sitting there wasting disk space and wasting resources while they're running on your computer. Now to uninstall a program, it's really easy. What you're gonna do is I want you to hit the start button and then type control panel. And then open the control panel up. And then I would recommend using the category view just because it's a little bit easier to find things that way. But what you're going to want to do is go down to uninstall a program. And then from here, these are all the programs that are currently installed on your computer. In Windows 10, it's a little bit different. So there's another way I'm going to show you here in a minute also. But these programs here, this will give you the opportunity to uninstall these programs. So what you do is you select the program that you want to uninstall from the list, and then you just click the uninstall button on the top. Now that program should have an uninstaller that you can use to uninstall that program. All you got to do is just follow the directions once the uninstaller opens. Now there's another way that you can uninstall programs from a Windows 10 computer computer and that's the Windows 10 apps and now unfortunately the apps aren't located inside of this menu but let me show you a really easy way to get rid of them so what I want you to do is go ahead and click the start button here and then right here this shows all the programs that are installed on your computer now what you do is you scroll through this list and you find the program that you want to uninstall so I had mentioned earlier that I don't ever use Skype so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to Skype and then you want to right click on the program and then click uninstall from the list and then it's going to ask you if you really want to uninstall this go ahead and hit uninstall and that should remove that program or that windows app from your computer so it'll also stop it from starting up in the background now another thing that can slow your computer down is if it's infected with a virus. Now if you're infected with a virus, you actually can use your antivirus to scan your computer for viruses. Now depending on which antivirus you have, this might be a little bit different. I typically recommend Windows Security. It comes with Windows 10 and it never expires. If you're using an expired antivirus right now, that might be your problem right there. So. I would recommend using Windows Security. If you have an antivirus that you like and it's working well for you, then more power to you. But if you don't, then I would highly recommend using the antivirus that comes with Windows 10. Let me show you how to use it to scan for viruses. Okay, so to use Windows Security, go down to your task tray down here, and if you don't see it right off the bat, then you can click this little arrow right here that points up. Go ahead and click that, and it'll give you other things that are in the task tray. So we're gonna wanna click on this little shield right here, and when we click on that, it's gonna open up Windows Security. Now you might actually have warnings, like in this one, I have app and browser control. And honestly, I think that's a complete waste of time. So I usually leave it turned off. So if you do have something like account protection and app and browser control those two I typically recommend just turning those off so what you do to turn it off is you just push the dismiss button and you just let it go don't worry about it all right so what we're gonna do now is we want to go to virus and threat protection here and then we're gonna click on scan options and then from the scan options we want to go down and click on full scan and once we do that, we can go ahead and push the scan now button. And now your antivirus should take over and scan your computer. Now at this point, your antivirus should scan your entire computer for viruses. Anything that it finds in the scan, go ahead and just do whatever the recommended is. And depending on the virus, that should actually improve your performance quite a bit. I've seen viruses slow computers down considerably. So if this is your problem, then this should fix it. The next tip that I'm gonna show you is how to update Windows. Now this one actually doesn't come up very often because honestly, Windows 10 updates itself. In fact, 
It's annoying about it in most cases. However, let me show you how to manually start Windows Update if you want to try it. All right, what I want you to do now is go ahead and click on the start button, then go down to the settings cog here. You'll see a little cog and it'll say settings. And then open that up and you want to click on update and security. And then from here, once this loads, you'll see a button that says check for updates. Go ahead and click that button and it should go through and check updates for you. And if there's any updates that need to be installed, go ahead and let Windows install them. And once you reboot your computer, you should be all up to date. These tips may seem basic, but a lot of these tips will actually help speed up a slow computer quite a bit. Now, before we go, I promised you that I was gonna give you a bonus tip, and we're gonna do that right now. Windows 10 actually uses search in a much different way than previous versions of Windows did, and it actually indexes all the files on your computer. Now, this search indexing can actually take a lot of resources away from your computer, and disabling it can actually help to speed up your computer quite a bit. However, it will affect the way Windows Search operates. So if you like the way Windows Search works, then it might not be a good idea to disable this but you can get a pretty hefty performance increase on your computer depending on your system resources. So let me show you how to disable it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a file explorer window. By default, I believe the file explorer is down in the taskbar down here, but if it's not, you can always hit start and type for file explorer and you can search for it as well. So when you open that up, you're gonna to wanna to go to this PC and from this PC, you'll notice here that you have your different hard drives that you have on your computer. This tip gives you the best benefit from your C drive. By disabling indexing on your C drive, if you have more than one drive, it'll give you the biggest performance increase. However, disabling indexing on other drives can also help your computer's performance. So go ahead and now we're gonna right click on the C drive and we're gonna click on properties. And then from properties, if you look at the bottom of the screen right here, you'll have one selection that says allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties. If you uncheck that and go ahead and hit apply, it's gonna come up with this screen and it's gonna say you have chosen to disable indexing. And then from here you can choose apply changes to the C root only or apply changes to C and all subfolders and files. I would choose apply changes to C and all subfolders and files. And then you go ahead and hit okay. And from here, you have to hit continue to provide administrator permissions. But if you hit continue, it may find errors in certain files. And if it does, you just push the ignore button for every time that it finds an error. And it'll go through and it'll disable indexing for every file that it can. Some of it, it can't, so you just hit ignore and it'll usually pass those files up. If this was helpful to you, then please hit the like button and also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, while you're here, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.